Why, hello again, Poke People. Lovely to see you. How y'all doing? I'm doing pretty good, but I'd be doing a lot better if I had a few more prism stars in my hands. So, today we are going to crack into 10 more packs of Ultra Sun because why not? I mean, we need the prism stars, right? We need them all. And until we have them all, we're just going to have to keep opening things. I mean, that's how it works, right? Like, that's how it works to me. Do, 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 do. So let's see right off the bat. What are we starting with? Hey, it's that Mew card. I really, really want a Mew in the game. I have one scanned in because I got the um, the Moncola get of Mew, but um, obviously that's not one people are going to be trading. So I haven't found it available yet, but maybe, maybe someday I'll have a Mew. Hey, it's that thing. So I totally glazed over this last time. I didn't realize I was sorting my cards, but Ultra Sun only has certain, ener um, certain energy type Pokemon, while Ultra Moon has the others. So if I remember right, we should only be seeing, um, I think, Fire, Grass, and Steel are in this set. Maybe not Water. I think Water is Moon. So keep an eye out. You'll notice that there are certain types that we're just not going to pull in Ultra Sun whatsoever because they're not in it. And I thought it was really weird at first when I was sorting them. And I was like, wait, that's really cool. And makes a lot more sense when you're switching it over to the English where the Japanese sets always get combined into one. So I don't know. I thought it was cool. You guys let me know what you think. It's just different. I don't think I've ever seen them do that before. Hey, Sneasel and... <gasps> Holy cow! <laughs> oh my god! What is it with the ultra rares attacking me? Like... They just happen so unexpectedly. Oh, goodness, look at how pretty she is. There I go, assuming genders again. Sorry, Leafeon, you look like you look like a pretty little wood elf. Oh, that is beautiful. Look at that green. Oh my gosh. So shiny. Oh my goodness, what am I gonna do? <laughs> Alright, well, that is one heck of a way to start things when we're only on the what, that was the second pack? Wow! Wow! Leafeon just couldn't wait. Just had to jump right out there. So these are really cool. I actually um, figured it out. What you have to do is go to a Japanese website, make an account with your email, and then you can enter in 20 codes, and that gets you... Oh, Shaman! It doesn't get you Shaman, but it is a boo boo Look at her tummy! So cute! Um, you get a whole bunch of in-item games, like mushrooms, nuggets, and stuff. Things that you can sell to get money in the game. But you also get a Meloetha, a Manaphy, and a Hoopa. So I did that once. I believe, since it only let me put in 20 codes and no more, that you can only do the whole thing one time per email. So I'm going to try and see if I can get a second set. Because so it might be fun to have some really crazy things to trade in... Um, the whole online trading system. Global trade system, that's what it's called. If you're playing Ultra Sun or Moon, or just playing Sun and Moon, then you probably know what I'm talking about. And if not, then I'm sorry. I'm just rambling away. It's a thing that I do. You'll get used to it if you're not already. Okay, Honchcrow. <laughs> a Magnemite. Chimchar. Mm, Orangaroo. And hey, Dusk Mane. Necrozma, or just Dusk, we're just Duskbane, let's just keep it at that. I saw down in the comments, you guys helped me out, you corrected me. It's Duskmane, Dawn Wings. I kept thinking, because it's Solgaleo is daytime, you know, Dawn made sense to me, but no, it's Duskmane, Dawn Wings. I really hope that I haven't, like, flipped them around in my head and I'm actually saying them wrong right now. That happens a lot. <laughs> It's happening. Oh, Gengar! Oh, my baby. I love Gengar so much. Does it happen to you guys too where you flip things around? Like I get Magnemite and Magneton flipped around all the time. There's a few others. All right. Well, we got a skunk tank here. Um, a fossil. A Magneton. Speak of the devil. And shield on, right? He looks so cute, but when he evolves, he's not cute at all. Like, there is nothing cute about Bastiodon. It is Bastiodon, right? I hope so. I just evolved one in the game. I should know these things. I need to study. Hey, Alolan Ninetales, I love you. I was so happy to get one of those through trading, but the one I got is super weak. 
Okay. Um, I still don't know your name. Sorry. Um, don't remember your name either. But you're a chedin bull in English, so probably cherubi or something. Ah, uh, mana mana Murkrow. How could I forget that name? A and Doug trio. And hey, Tortier. I'm just gonna call it Tortier forever until somebody somebody will come to my rescue and be like, yes, yes, Sarah. I have also had Tortier. I know how delicious it is. And hopefully you're like me and my dad and you have it with dill pickles because dill pickles. I mean, you just dill pickles go with everything. Everything. Maybe not everything. Most things. Oh, oh, okay. I was credited on this too. Chimchar becomes Monferno, right? He's Monferno and I can't remember the last form. Hopefully I don't see it today because that would be really embarrassing. <laughs> Yama A in a fan. All right, we got two more packs. Second to last to go for this little video. Do 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 do. I just like making up songs because why not? <gasps> Galissapod. I never thought I would like a bug Pokemon so much, but I've got Galissapod on my team. I got it as soon as I could, and it is one of my favorite Pokemon. Ah, Cherim in Japanese. Ah, Sukampu. I'm just going with the Japanese names. Naitoru, because I forget your English name. Um. Oh God, Turtonator. There we go. See, I keep wanting to call this guy Turtonator because he looks like, like. A Turtonator, doesn't he? I mean, either one of them could be a Turtonator, but you know. So we got Tortier, Turtonator. I got it straight. He's a Tortier. He's a Tortier forever. I'm just gonna keep saying Tortier so someone figures it out. Don't mind my Canadianisms. I like to wear toques while I sit on a Chesterfield, being pulled by my sled dogs through the snow that never ends all year long. Okay, we have a mountain. An Eevee! Ah. Uh, Domira in Japanese, Bronzor? Bronzor becomes Bronzong, or they flipped again. I keep flipping things. Carnivine and Heatron. All right, well, from those 10 packs, I mean, it was not too bad, I think, considering how things went when I started opening boxes. That was crazy, the first video, holy cow. Anyways, for the recap, we got Heat Run, we have the Tortier, the delicious, delicious Tortier, Shaman, Dusk, Mane, <laughs> ah, I'll keep them like, I'm just going to stick a post-it note in the background somewhere, somewhere back there above things where you can't see with all the names written on it. And of course, the star of today's show, Leafeon, who, hey, matches my glasses right now. I still haven't fixed the red ones. And I haven't fixed my little logo that I did with the red one, so I don't, I don't know. What are we going to do? Am I going to get the red glasses fixed? Am I going to update things with green glasses? I don't know. Leafeon, help me. Somebody help me. I don't know what's happening. I'm not even in focus. Ah! Well, thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video, and hope to see you again in the next one. Bye bye